Buckle your seatbelts. We're going down a few rabbit holes on the internet. You know when the primary source for the tale is Reddit, that it's going to get strange. From there, it goes into porn sites that aren't really just porn sites. Number stations on the internet, possible mercenaries, one hell of a wake party, possible assassination involvement, Mossad involvement, fake passports, Interpol, half-hearted international man-woman hunt, a grouchy old man that befriends vets, and a raggedy old cat. Are you still intrigued? I'll try to explain. I'm going to do my best here of first going through the core story, then tackle a few side trips I made while pointing out some side trips others have taken. If you get lost, just head for the light at the top of the rabbit hole and gasp for air in the sunlight way outside the internet myths, tales, and conspiracy theories. Okay, let's go. It all started with a post in July 2009 about the death of a frequent Reddit user who went by the handle of Religion of Peace. The post was written by a user going by 26. It announced that Religion of Peace was 79 year old Milo had died. He was found dead by 26 in front of his computer with Reddit on the screen. I'm the person who provided Religion of Peace the space for the old guy's image host. Milo died today. He was 79 years old. He died at his desk looking at your site. Milo was a mean old guy. Mean and ornery. He hooked me up with my first gig when I got out of the army. I didn't like finding him like that. Milo don't have any relatives and no real friends. And other than the landlady and a few people where he worked. He didn't talk to anyone about much of anything. He just tolerated. As I said, he was mean. I think he used that as a shield to keep people away from him. Milo thought God was some kind of con game thought up by some lazy sons of bitches who didn't want to work every day. So he's going in the fire on Monday, without a service just like he wanted. I'm planning to dump his ashes in the woods in Pennsylvania, near where he was born. Cam put them right there, cause there's a mall there now. I gave the girl next door his raggedy old cat and most of his books. His computers and tronic shit he tagged for the disabled vets in the VA. All the rest of the stuff is for the Salvation Army. All those years and everything he owned fits in the trunk of my car. I don't know what else to say, I'll miss him, that miserable bastard. In the badly written post, it goes on to say that Milo was an old curmudgeon that liked no one but tolerated 2-6. Milo owned the old guy's image host, which 26 helped him with, as thanks to Milo for helping 26 with his first gig out of the military. Milo wanted no ceremony, only to be cremated and have his ashes spread near his old farm. The old man's computer stuff was to go to the VA and disabled vets, his books, and ray the old cat to a neighbor girl. What's with the old guy's image host site? Well. It's a website that hosted porno photos, mostly amateur ones from what I understand, but its URL was lakecityquietpills.com, which intrigued some Reddit users who are code junkies. It was there hidden in the old guy's image host code that a similar announcement was made about Milo's death. I'm sorry to tell you that old Milo died yesterday. He went quiet and calm, not like we all figured. I gave that fat wangy cat to a little girl. No service or nothing, you know Milo. I'm taking his ashes back to where his farm was, close to it anyways. There's a mall where he was placed. So hoist a few for the old man. Remember what he said, keep the face with the man who got your back. The stuff after that was what caught the Reddit's code junkie's eye. They screen capped it and shared. Thus the tale we are following is born. Here's what they caught. Well, don't those look like job postings? Let's leave it at that for now. We'll learn that the handles of two more people, Shade and Angel, who seem to be involved in the job postings there. Milo's will clear probate. Surprise, Milo was loaded. Email Shade if we sent you out in 2005 to 2009. Shade will have checks cut out for you. Amount is how many times, not by pay total. Small shares, three to four K. 
Then four months later, a post reveals Milo's probate is done and he was loaded. So anyone who got sent out 2005 to 2009 got a bonus based on number of times sent out. So let's look back at the first find, hiding on the old guy's image host site. Those job posting like things? Are they send outs? Is there a group of people getting employed from code hidden in a porn site? If so, who would these people be? Again, since I'm just giving facts and raising questions, I'll move on with the story. Next, we move to January 2010, when there was a party planned to honor Milo. Happy New Year everyone, we're having a birthday party for the old man on the 19th. Party starts at 1500 at the usual. Send your RSVP to Shade. FYI, we're booking a room for three days for anyone coming from out of the area, and overnight for locals. Come hoist one for Dutch Milo. We got 38 rooms in the Marriott on 46. Shade has the key cards for the locals. Give your travel name to the desk and that's it. No ID needed since we're covering the bill. Keep the room service under 500, okay? The phones there are not secure. Bus from the hotel leaves at 1330. Car service vouchers for return trip when ready to crash. Don't DUI. Now it appears that the group that gets jobs and mourns Milo is going to have a party to remember him. I'm not a New Yorker, but I have stayed in the Marriott on 46th there in Times Squares. Very nice. Getting 38 rooms there isn't cheap, and this is after paying out the bonuses. Oh, and note that people have travel papers and travel names. Hmm. Okay, so how did the party go? Here's the final bill. Almost a $100,000 party. Gee, I hope Stu and Fat Tommy are okay. That's two more handles we have up to a total of at least six now. Religion of Peace, 2-6, Shade, Angel, Stu, and Fat Tommy. What kind of businesses tosses that kind of party? Note the date, January 19, 2010. Also Milo referred to as Dutch Milo. Now after this, it seems the group got wise to being eavesdropped upon and went to what honestly looks like a tier sheet code. Remember number stations and their tier sheets. The posts were a written copy of that, so messages from there were not open for gawking unless you had the right sheet. Then later, they moved from there leaving the porn set as well, just porn. As to who were the other people behind the handles we saw, not much of them it appears that 2-6 is now dead. Angel posts on a porn site known as Drunken Stepfather, and a signature refers to 2-6 and Dutch Milo resting in peace. Is Drunken Stepfather another that old guy's image host where the job postings are hidden somewhere? If so, they have gotten better at hiding them from the curious. Angel also uses a Rhodesian Army Special Forces badge as his icon there. He started going by Angel 26, which led to wondering if he took over 26's coordination job after 26 joined Milo. As for now, defunct LakeCityQuietPills.com and the old guy's image host hosted there. For a bit, it was managed by a few different people: Joe the Snake, Mad Madam Meow, and JP4. It's still there, but doing nothing. So what did the internet stumble upon in the code of Lake City Quiet Pills site hosting that old guy's image host? Who was Dutch Milo, aka Religion of Peace? Was there really an expensive wake party at the Marriott on January 19th of 2010? I have no answers, just theories, and deeper down the rabbit hole we go. Let's start with the domain name, Lake City Quiet Pills. One of the posters signs off with this. Dispensing Lake City Quiet Pills to lousy bastards in need of permanent rest since 1968. Since it is all correctly spelled, I'm guessing that wasn't written by 26. Anyway, it turns out that Lake City Quiet Pill is a US Army term for bullets, primarily ammo for handheld weapons. You see, the vast majority of bullets like that used by the US Army are made in an ammunition plant in Lake City, Missouri. If you search Lake City Armory Ammunitions Plant, you'll find numerous informational videos by them and what they do. Thus, we are pretty sure that Lake City Quiet Pills are bullets. We can also guess that the quiet is permanent because when they are misadministered, the receiver isn't quiet. Next on Milo, here's where it gets a bit fuzzier. His Religion of Peace persona on Reddit was tied to a jailbait board on Reddit where people took photos of girls and up their skirts and posted them. 
creepy as hell and once discussed on Anderson Cooper where the religion of peace handle was called out as related to this. In one response to 26 Reddit post about Milo, he gives coordinates to a mall in Pennsylvania as Milo's resting place. I assume from the first post that is where the farm used to be and Milo's ashes are spread in the woods around there. Now that Milo is from Pennsylvania and called Dutch Milo makes sense. There's the Pennsylvanian Dutch who are actually the German immigrants to the area. Also we know he lived in an apartment, had a cat, and gave his stuff to associates to do with military veterans. We also know he helped 2-6 get a gig right at the army. Sounds like an old military man to me who likes pretty young girls and ran a porn site with the job offerings in a hidden coat. He was rich but didn't live richly. He was apparently liked by those who took employment from the hidden code. They tossed one hell of a party to remember him rather than divide it up among them. One of the interesting side notes. In researching this, I read many other blogs posting about this. One noted an odd comment they got of coordinates. I never found where the blog owner popped the coordinates into Google, so I did. The first set I'll get into in the party discussion. The second set was an apartment building in New Jersey. I looked up residents there in 2009. There was a person whose first initial was M, a male the right age. He did show up after 2010, so I wondered was this Milo's apartment building? If so, why leave it as a comment in a blog? Thus, I came up out of the rabbit hole of researching that day, gasping for air and pondering what the hell. I now leave that pondering to you. Next, the possible job listings after the code announcement of Milo's death. I'm going to take my attempt at a few of the listings. Looking them over, it seems to be a job listing for private security and or mercenary work. Puzzling over the unique abbreviations used, I'll list them in order of use. If I have a guess on them, I'll post my stab. If not, I'll leave it blank. Skipping what I consider obvious abbreviations, like OP for operation. If you have any guests on any of them, just let me know in the comments. 24-7 DP is all day all week. SA, Spanish, South American Spanish. Euro W, European white women. Sec at sea, sequestered at sea. HW, hardware given the domain name, I'd assume weaponry is the hardware. Recent S or SB, EU, European Union, ME, Middle East. Now here's a stab at what some terms mean, but again, it's just my guesses. If you have any guesses, they are just as valid as mine. So share them here and let's discuss. Sequestered, can't contact anyone outside the mission and or organization, no calling home. Gentlemen's Agreement, insurance off the books, Coverage if you are injured doing the job. Private gig. You can contact others while on the job, calling home permitted. No papers, no records kept. No problem. Off the books work, just whose books and how. I guess illegal, in some manner or at least black op, government or private work. So it appears to me that this list is meant to read like a want ad for private security or guns for a higher group. For now, let's assume that's right and move on to the party. Let's go with the obvious. This group met in the Marriott in Times Square in New York City, partied their asses off for the weekend in honor of Dutch Milo. In the process of this drunken memorial, Stu and Fat Tommy got injured, but they are okay. Since the group is now self-run, 2-6 coordinating, Shade doing the data management and payments, Angel doing the job listing, a financial account of the party was posted. Now a sidetrack here. Remember the post on the other blog with the coordinates? Well, the second set was on 46th Street, New York City, to the Lunt Fontaine Theater just down from the Marriott. What the means? I don't know, maybe they saw a show here. Just tossing out strange sights as I was down this rabbit hole. Next, another theory that's not so obvious. It was keyed upon by the internet due to the date of the party and what type of apparent job postings accompanied Milo's hidden code obituary. Mercenary Black Ops Private Security Work First, I'll tell you about the event. Then I'll give you a quick outline of how the internet thinks it ties into Milo's party. On January 19th of 2010, an assassination took place. 
It was of Hamas leader Mohammed Al Mapa, who was staying in the Rotan Hotel in Dubai on a layover while he was heading to China. He was killed by being given muscle relaxants, then struggled with the attackers before being smothered with a pillow. The operation was carried out by a group of 33 known participants. The photo of 26 were made public. 22 were on the ground in Dubai, all foreigns but two locals, who were arrested. They were Palestinians that did not use fake names. The foreigners were traveling under fake passports. They arrived on the 19th and left on the 20th before the murder was discovered. This became an international incident, with Dubai blamed it on the Israel and their Mossad. The fact we know about all this came from Dubai's joint investigation with Interpol and the international warrants issued related to the death. The team was managed by SMS messages originating in Austria. 13 arrived on UK passports, 4 on French, including the ground leader, 3 on Irish, 1 on German, and 3 on Australian. Many of the passports used were lost or stolen ones. Also many were people who held dual citizenships with the issuing country and Israel. 17 bank cards were used issued from the Meta Bank in Iowa and had ties to an Israel bank card distributor. In relation to this assassination, one person on the team going by Jura Brodsky passport was arrested in Poland for using the fake German passport. He was charged with espionage and using false documents in Germany. He was extradited to Germany with only agreement he would be prosecuted only for the use of false documents. There he was charged under the name Alexandria Varen, convicted of using false documents, paid a fine and was released to disappear again. Now, how does this relate to a party going on New York City on the same date? Well first, isn't a $90,000 plus a bit much for a small group to burn on a party that's really just the night of the 19th? Next, the date is that of the assassination. Maybe there was a group of assassins who got their jobs from the hidden postings in the code. Also apparently, jobs in the Middle East weren't available, but they decided as a tribute to Milo, they would do one there. There are 33 rooms and 33 people close. And Al Mob struggled with attackers as the muscle relaxant did its job. There were white European women involved. In the 11 photos from fake passports released, we know that white European women were apparently reading the job listings, and there wouldn't be a call out on some for them not to inquire about the job. These people could work in a group, as there are job listings for group work. The job listings discuss papers provided, and the paper listing refers to travel names and papers. The assassins had fake passports, so could the party of Milo beat the assassination? Could they have met at the Marriott, got their orders, then dispersed to use their new papers to carry out the mission, then return to their lives on other travel names? Is a mission like that more in line for spending most of $100,000 in one night's activity? Or was it as most of the world believes, Mossad? Or was this a board for Mossad agents? What if they weren't involved in the all mob assassination, but were a group for hire that just blew a major bucks to kill in honor of the old man that ran the group? What if they aren't for hire, but a group of old army buddies playing a role playing game? I have no idea what the reality of it is, other than some people found interesting code in a porn site. A pervy Reddit user supposedly died. There was an assassination of a Hamas leader by a group of covert operatives in Dubai on January 9th, 2010 and some coordinates to odd places was in the comments on a post in another blog. You can still go to the Lake City Quiet Pills Reddit page, investigate a little bit, and put in the comments what you think. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to check me out on Twitter, 